In today's episode, we're going to explore a way of finding out some more information about our audience while getting them moving. This can work in a large or small group and is a great way of mixing people up and increasing the energy in the room. It's a really simple exercise and done well, it can get people really engaged, asking questions and having some fun. Best of all, you get to know your audience better, which you can then use to your advantage. What are we talking about? Sociometry. Yes, sociometry helps you measure or determine relationships between individuals in a group. There are two common methods used, a lineup or continuum and groups or categories. As facilitators, we often use these to prepare the participants for actions they're going to do or to indicate their agreement for a particular decision. A lineup or human continuum is a really useful tool to have in your enablers of change toolbox. The idea is that you get people to line up between two points in the room. The points at either end represent the extremes and in between them is the range of views that are possible. The simplest lineup that I've used is getting people to line up according to the date and month of their birthday. For example, the 6th of March. People get up and someone says, oh, I'm March, when are you? And someone else says, oh, I'm August, so I'd better move down the line. And before you know it, people have themselves lined up in order. This allows you to break people into smaller random groups based on where they're standing. And it provides a way of getting people to introduce themselves. I've used that plenty of times too, Denise, and it certainly increases the energy level in the room. A great thing to do after lunch or when you sense the energy decreasing in the room. Sometimes I'll use that towards the beginning of a presentation and ask them to line up based on their experience or knowledge about the topic I'm about to discuss. The results then really help me know where to pitch my presentation. You can also use the lineup to help explore decisions. You can get people to line up based on whether they like or dislike something, such as an idea that was proposed, and then get people to share why they stood where they did. Denise, I've seen you use this type of lineup before, and as I remember, you got the lineup to then fold in half upon itself, and you invited people to pair up with someone across the line and discuss why they were standing where they were. It was a great way of getting discussion happening and it helped the extreme, the extreme ends of the line to better understand why someone might be standing where they were. Thanks, John. Yeah, it gets discussion going and really does help participants to understand each other a bit more. I've used it to evaluate how a workshop was going as well. At the end of one, day one of a two-day workshop, I get people to line up based on whether they've been learning things or enjoying the discussion and get them to briefly explain why they're standing where they did. It helps me understand what might be needed to be covered on day two. And it also gives participants a chance to hear how the workshop is going for others. And it's possible to, to do this exercise with very large groups of people. You just need to make sure you have enough space for people to line up. It's certainly worth checking the venue beforehand so you know that it's possible and then you don't have to quickly replan the exercise on the day. Let's now look at using groups or categories. This can be a really good getting to know you activity or mixer. For example, you can ask people to cluster together based on the industry they work with. You can either nominate the categories such as beef, sheep, grain, etc. or leave it to them to self-organize. That way someone has to call out beef or sheep um, to find their tribe. Sometimes I've seen it done where they can only make appropriate noises such as the barring of sheep to find their fellow industry members. <laughs> Once they're in their groups, you can then ask each group to consider a particular question, or you can then ask them to form groups with at least two or three different industries represented and get them to discuss a particular question. At the beginning of events, I often like to use what I call the human map. I just point to the north and then invite the participants to spread out around the room and stand relative to where their hometown would be located. It's a great way of getting people talking and introducing themselves. Plus, it gives me a good idea of the geographic diversity in the room. 
It's just a short episode today introducing you to the wonderful world of sociometry. If you weren't previously aware of it or reminding you about its value if you did already happen to know about it. So you've heard our thoughts. Now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment below this episode and tell us about your experiences with lineups and categories, including any tips or further ideas about it. How have you encouraged people to line up? what's worked and what hasn't. We don't want this just to be a one-way conversation, so please join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. Thanks, folks, for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember, if you like what you've heard, tell your friends so we can get more people involved in the conversation. All the best until we meet again.